हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज पीयूष एंड वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू वीडियो नंबर 16 ऑफ द सीरीज एसी 900 विद पीयूष इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल बी लुकिंग इनटू डिफरेंट माइग्रेशन ऑप्शंस दैट वी हैव इन एजुअर दैट वी कैन यूज टू ट्रांसफर डेटा एंड सर्वर्स फ्रॉम ऑन प्रेमिसेस सर्वर्स टू एजुअर एंड एट द एंड वी विल बी डूइंग नॉलेज चेक्स फॉर एसी 900 सर्टिफिकेशन एग्जाम सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर एडियो लेट्स गेट इनटू इट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन डिफरेंट स्टोरेज ऑप्शंस विद इन एजुअर it is also important to understand how to get your data and information into azure a traditional on premises infrastructure would have servers and database running on either vmware or hyper v or physical servers there are various data migration options provided by azure first one is azure migrate which performs the initial discovery and assessment and prepares the server for migration then it migrates the server running on on premises or any other public cloud infrastructure to azure cloud vms or web apps the next option that we have is azure database migration service which performs the assessment of sql servers and help in pointing the potential problems that could block the migration then it performs the database migration to azure vms running on sql server azure sql database or SQL managed database instances we also have azure data box which is used to move large amount of offline data to azure so let's have a look at the azure data box now well it's a physical migration service that helps transfer large amount of data to azure this service comes with a physical appliance such as azure data box which comes with 5 ssds of 8 gb each that means a total of 40 tb it supports then we also have azure data box which can support around 100 tb of data storage and transfer then we also have data box heavy which can store and transfer up to 1 petabytes of data you can simply import your data from on premises to either of these devices based on your storage requirements and then ship it to azure data center data is then automatically exported to azure cloud Once it is exported to Azure, the data within the device get erased. It's completely wiped out. And main use case of uh, the data box is when you have a large amount of data, typically more than 40 TB, or when you have a requirement of bulk data transfer. Sometimes you also have to store large amount of data in Azure for security and compliance purpose. So all these are use case of using a Azure data box. on and all it is a reliable fast and secure transfer service in addition to large scale migration using services like azure migrate and azure data box azure also has tools designed to help you move or interact with individual files or small file groups first one is az copy which is a command line based utility that lets you interact with azure storage to transfer blobs and files to and from azure storage accounts well you can upload your data files you can also download the blobs or files from azure storage account and you can also copy the files between storage account and also synchronize the files between storage account but the synchronization process is unidirectional that is this is one way and not bidirectional the next one that we have is azure storage explorer it's a gui based application and in the back end it is using az copy command line tool to perform the data transfer to and from azure storage account you can simply do drag and drop uh, using the gui and then you don't have to run the az copy commands from the command line then we have azure file sync we use azure file sync when we have to synchronize the files between your local windows server and azure files in the azure storage account and this sync process is bidirectional that means both the ways and it is used to sync only the files not blobs not any other data type just files and from your local windows server to azure file so you install this azure file sync agent on your local windows server and then it performs the file sync for you all right time for the quick knowledge check so make sure to take the screenshot of this page and try to answer these questions as this was a small topic so it just have these three questions and 
try to answer these and let me know if you face any issues in understanding any of the concepts that we have discussed so far. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope the video was somewhat beneficial to you and helpful in understanding the concept of data migration within Azure. If it was helpful, then uh, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing the channel if you are new here. Feel free to join our Discord community. Link is in the description for weekly updates, or knowledge sharing session, career guidance and many more. If you have any feedback for me, feel free to let me know in the comment section below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. I will see you soon with the next video. Thank you so much for watching.